So after skipping on Generation 8 completely, Rodinia is now back with a vengeance and probably is going to be better than ever in this generation. Even though Progen its ability has been nerfed, it has a broader move pool and a setup opportunity that it actually didn't have before, which is going to make this raid a whole lot tougher. Now, before going into this video, we're going to talk about the two possible sets and we're going to fed off against. As of this video, we don't know exactly what that is. I'm going to bring out the mods that I think are going to work best against these types of sets. So first and foremost, Grenade is sporting the Dark and Water type in, which makes sure that no matter what the best responses were in previous raids are not going to be as usable this time. They're going to be good ones with it, but they are not going to be completely great. For example, Slowbro probably isn't cutting as it did versus Cinderace, and Assumeril, while it would have been solid, is going to struggle because of its Terra type of Poison, which is going to ensure that its possible gunk shot is going to make very much short work out of the poor, poor Azumarill. Also worth mentioning is that Iron Hands, which usually is a good response due to sporting that poison type, you won't recover as much with Drain Punch and you're not going to be as effective with the Builder Drum set. So overall, the usual suspects are not as great as the ones were. So what type of Greninja are we going to fend off against? Well, here's the thing. With it getting the Terra type of poison, it's very likely that it's going to capitalize on Gunk Shot and also got Soul Sets this generation, so it's going to be probably a physical set or a mixed set. But the moves it gets the, it's worth keeping in mind of on the special or on the physical side is Night Slash, Waterfall, Gunk Shot, of course, and Acrobatics, which definitely all are stunning move and going to make short work out of you. I even believe it gets Ice Punch, and that's something to keep in mind. On the special side, it has you know, the usual stuff. It has a Water Shuriken, and Shuriken. It's a signature move, which I think is something they wanted to have for this type of environment uh to go with dark poles grass knot uh so overall a very problematic mount to check but there are a few mounts here that make sense that could work well against it the first one coming to mind is vaporeon thanks to water absorb we do make sure that there aren't that many water moves it can spam if water sure can gets out of hand this guy takes it on and uh yeah overall we're gonna use the same set as slowbro was but instead of Nasty Plot Web, Call Mind, we're also going to have Fake Tears just to really, really make sure we do the damage possible. We said Wish here in case you can't recover that much. Gunk Shot is still going to hurt you. And the thing is, if it is a physical set, Fake Tears could easily be exchanged for Acid Armor. And um, Vaporia works well as a supporting set too with um, Helping Hand and whatnot. I think there's better supporting mods than Vaporeon, but I think this is going to be the most solid offensive set. Basically, get yourself in the Call Mind plus six and then go for store power. Thanks to unfortunately you not being able to attack, you won't be able to get your Terra type, which would have been nice to be psychic because you won't have the same damage output as um, as Slowbro has. So it's a very likely scenario that even after one store power, without the fake tears, you won't Oko it. And um, you really need a team that makes sure that you fake tears and you get that damage going. So overall, I think this is probably the most clean cut sweeping sets will work the best but we have other suspects here that could be very viable the other one coming to mind is cliff key cliff key due to its defensive typing will make sure it doesn't suffer anything and throw at it while i've seen people mention in tinkaton as possibility issue with tinkaton is that it doesn't have any type of boosting move and while cliff keys has his own issues it doesn't have it at least on the defensive side but it can't recover and that's something to keep in mind so leftovers or Citrus Barrier to keep yourself afloat, but to boost yourself is probably key here. Call Mine Iron Defense to boost yourself up. Metal Sound to make sure, well, to, to bring down that special defense, depending on which type of teammate you have, and store power. So, very clean cut here. Um, I really don't see any other reason to use any other set. It does get access to Psy Shock, but the thing is, offensive stats on Cliff Gear are quite low. So, special attack I think is around 80, so it won't do nearly as much damage. It's just a great overall Pokemon to manage to live. And one of the mods that you know, one of the key things you want is have a Pokemon that doesn't die and bring down the timer, and Cliff Key will represent that same thing. That said, there are another mod that does this too. Because Toxapec might be the very best um, defensive Pokemon to use here. While it is a very likely scenario here that Greninja has extra sensory, which is a psychic move that will damage uh, Toxapec quite a lot, um, which is why we have some special defense on it to make sure that Elise can manage that because I don't believe you have to worry about the physical output. If it is a physical set, Shielding Water will be great. Acid Spray is only there to support the Vaporeons and Clef Keys that follows. And Iron Defense is as filler. It really just needs three moves and the last move can be whatever really. But overall, Toxic Pest is great. Like I said, watch out for Extra Sensory. If it has that, 
it's something to keep in mind if you want to stay afloat. That said though, Toxapex is great for this matchup. Another mod that is kind of unlikely but might actually be really good is Corviknight. Corviknight is a you know self-supporting machine with power trip and bulk up. It should be able to make short work out of Greninja, uh, rules to keep itself afloat and light screen if it's a special set. That said, um, Corviknight can be fully supportive too. You could actually capitalize on uh, Metal Sound to be able to bring down and fake tears. I believe both of these moves is something Corviknight learns. And if you want to go for a supporting set and don't have power trip you'll be fine with it, because basically Corviknight, I think, can manage a lot of hits if the opposing Pokemon is physical, that is, if it isn't, don't use this. Last but not least is Toxic Road. Yet again, much like Toxapic, if Greninja has extra sensory, do not use this set. However, <laughs> Toxic Road is actually probably the perfect type in for whatever God brings to the table. Basically, resist the Dark Pulses and Night Slash, you are immune thanks to dry skin to the water moves and thanks to being a poison type the gunk shot or the terra blast poison won't hurt you either only thing that you have to worry about is acrobatics and extra sensory if it packs this it might be troublesome but i run in this with chilling water and acid spray basically much like toxic packs here it is a supportive set at first but also has soul stance and earthquake if you really need to bring on the damage you should be able to do so and toxic or toxic rope might actually be worth using but that said, I think, like I said, the best mods here for this matchup is Vaporeon, Cliffkey, and Toxapex. Everything else, I think it's fine. But um, these are the ones that are probably going to sell games. And most likely, people are going to find a way to make short work out of Greninja anyway. There is a small chance, if it is physical set, that Slowbro with Iron Defense could, with Cobra Berry um, or Cobra Berry, be able to manage it. So, Slowbro is not out of the woods, it just isn't as efficient. So, with that said, I hope you got a good graph of which Pokemon are going to work, and hopefully I got some of these guesses right. So with that said guys, as always, thank you for watching, have a great day, take care everyone, bye.